it's insane that so many good bike riders of every genre of like the sport come from australia yeah like we do really well on anything with two wheels yeah it is crazy like yeah like you said any and you think of anything doesn't get any coverage in the media no ever no well, if you're not AFL, you know. If, <laughs> if it's not AFL, you don't get any, like yeah. when Volkanovski, this UFC fighter, it was he got ranked pound for pound number one. Yeah. In the UFC. Yeah. That's right. like a fucking massive honor. Yeah. Like because yeah. the sport's massive now, like globally. Yeah. He was pound for pound number one best fighter in the world. Come out of Wollongong in New South Wales. Nothing in the media. That's insane. Like nothing. Possibly yeah. the greatest combat sports athlete of all time. Yeah. And just nothing in the media. Yeah. And, like, we got the best bike riders almost in the world in any genre, like freestyle or downhill, fucking on a motorbike, on a u- anything with wheels. Mm. We're, like, in the top ten always. Yeah, always. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, even right now we've got um, in moto, we've got, like, this kid. He's, like, 18 years old. Um, like Jet Lawrence and he's overseas like living over in America now and he's got a brother Hunter as well and they're both like well especially Jet is like dominating in the premier class like the 450 category like like absolutely destroying like this year he went and won every single was it outdoor or supercross must have been outdoor he won every single race which has only been done once ever before and like everyone was like there's no way it can happen again he went full clean sweep like that's every single time he got on the gate he won the race that's insane and you hear nothing about it how old is he he's like 18 what the fuck yeah so it's like he was his first year on the 450 so like you ride 250 and that's kind of like the junior category i guess you could say and then 450 is like the premier class and he just comes and dominates and like there's so many people on instagram and facebook trying to like talk to like not even news channels but like the government being like hey you've got like this this kid that's like the best already at 18 like he's like you've you've got other riders that are called like the goat and stuff like rick carmichael and then james stewart's and stuff that are like the best that's ever been he's already doing what they're doing but he's 18 and they were like you know in their 20s at that stage what part of australia is he from i'm not sure actually i would say i don't actually know but i i think maybe new south wales from memory but i could be completely wrong with that but yeah obviously there's not really many good tracks here in australia so you gotta like it's another go to thing US. it just doesn't make sense as to how yeah like Australia gets so good at that because obviously the culture in Australia is footy, yeah, or rugby, yeah, or like like bowl sports. Most yeah. bowl sports, not really yeah. any. But we don't have the infrastructure for anything else. Yeah, it's super weird because like you see all these different sports in America like pop up and just like go bunter and become massive. Mm. Like like you've even got like frisbee golf, which is which people, is dope yeah i like it as well <laughs> i love watching it yeah but they're like the the best of the world there are making like half a million dollars mm. and then their tournaments are like the prize money is like over a hundred thousand dollars and then you go to like our world cups if you win a world cup you win maybe three thousand euros is there much i was gonna say is it financial unless you get sponsorships do you win much if you win like say an event yeah so like the major thing is the sponsorship salary is yeah. like how we get paid and then event stuff it's like world cups pay pretty low it's like three thousand euros for the win which is barely covers your flights they wouldn't cover costs yeah exactly because obviously you got your mechanic and yeah shit that you don't do it for love yeah yeah exactly so yeah you get um there is like a couple races that boost up the prize money but like the highest one is probably 25 grand for for a win which is like pretty cool but when you're looking at all these other sports that Spons- are like, sponsors would be the, the big one yeah and that's the thing even yeah sponsors for us are the big one but then for some reason like downhill doesn't attract like your massive sponsors like your car sponsors or anything like if for some reason it just like we get enough views we get 
like Rebel Rampage gets insane amount of views and obviously they have a lot bigger prize money but it just seems really weird that like the prize money is so low from the actual events and the racing side of 